Ladies and gentlemen, chess enthusiasts and strategic thinkers from around the world, welcome to the ultimate battle of wits. This is a game of blitz chess, and this is what happens when you don't know what to say for your intro and you let ChatGPT decide what you should say. You say dumb stuff like what you just heard, but let's see if we can bounce back <laughs> against this uh, English. Going up against Sarah David 2012 in a game of Blitz. Let's put this away and let's go try to checkmate our opponent. Wish me luck. <laughs> Checkmating attempt, here it comes. And usually these positions are quite good for white, of course. But uh, and I don't really have any deep theoretical insights. I'm just trying to checkmate the guy before he checkmates me. That's that's chess 101. If he ever comes up, I have here. Was what I was thinking. And this should force the king back. Now I can get my queen to this file. I could obviously take the rook. How is he gonna defend? He's got this is one defensive move. This is another defensive move, depending on where I go. Um, do I have anything better? Maybe this is my best move, honestly. I don't know. Let's try this, because now I want to go here. And I'm trying to prevent him from going here. I'm leaving him with only one resource, but then I switch over. If he comes here now, uh, do I have some trick? Maybe is this some tactic? And I get my guy here. That's probably checkmate. That feels pretty much like checkmate. So if here, maybe this wins. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, it feels like checkmate to me. <laughs> Let's see what they do. Am I just winning? Did I just crush the English? Usually it's not so easy to just destroy the English right out of the opening, but this kind of feels like it went according to plan. Um, but there could be some defense that I don't see. I don't know, some random, I don't know. Doesn't feel like it, but maybe. Yeah, this problem this does not feel like checkmate. Just I'm just scanning. Okay. Because he's gonna be able to run away now. So well done. So I need to bring more stuff into the battle. Maybe here? just to open up this D file here at some moments. Not sure, I mean, this guy is still pinned, but I don't see anything going there. Gonna be taken here. Ah, okay. And I have here is one move. Okay, maybe you're, I don't know. I imagine if your queen is coming over here, you're gonna eventually get yourself kind of sidelined. And maybe at some moment my knight will be able to come in this way. Wait, doesn't that hang a thing? What? Okay, so he's in line with my rook here. Hmm. Ah, of course. I'm dumb. <laughs> Wait, I'm honestly dumb? It all makes sense now, I'm just dumb. So I think I have to take that. Just quickly scanning at other options, like sacking my queen in different ways. Hmm. Okay. Let's see where the bishop ends up going. Maybe I can force this queen to have to go back. This is, I mean, it's kind of wild. Um, don't know what the threat is, but the potential for this fork somehow in some line just feels great. I guess I'm threatening to take this. <laughs> I'm just noticing a fork square and trying to, f I'll, I'll figure out how to make it actually work at some other time. Um, there's no possible way that I'm threatening this, right? Is that a big threat or not? 
Wait, <gasps> no, 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 wait. Come on, please tell me I'm a genius. Please tell me I'm a genius. Yes, yes, he has to go here, right? And get forked or take the, or take the knight, right? If he comes here, I win the queen. No matter what he does, I think I win the queen. Let's go, what a tactic. <laughs> I knew there would be one. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, maybe best is taking the knight. The bishop prevents you from coming up. The rook is defending all of this. So you only have these two choices, but both lead to you losing a queen. And that's how you amazingly take down the English. And now, here's how you embarrass yourself. After the end of the game, you hit this analysis button and you see how bad you actually did. Uh, but this is a very fun game. So I think we're gonna toss this on YouTube. Let's see how much better though we could have played. Now our idea here was to play A6 with the idea that we're basically uh, passing and waiting a lot of time. And shout out to Chess Explained, who is somebody that I know has played this in a bunch of Blitz games. I kind of just picked it up from him, but honestly, haven't done a whole lot of homework on it, but it appears to be a line. Bishop to A7, H5, and it's equal according to the engine, but it's obviously very dangerous. And I think if they play h4, the idea is just to play g5 with advantage to black. So this is the way that a lot of games go. And after takes, you're taking back with your queen in positions like this, uh, they can get very dangerous. You're ready to push on. Uh, and as soon as you open this up, you're ready to trade off bishops. At some point you can castle queenside, find a place for this knight. Um, it's a very interesting way of trying to come up with something aggressive against the English and against d4, which is a very principled reply, I decided to play h5. And shockingly, I'm already better. Now, I know this is not gonna be the most accurate game of all time. Opponent though gives up the light squared bishop, which is a huge mistake. Um, they do get to take here, and they're probably very hopeful that I'm gonna go in for some sort of queen trade, but obviously, actually this is good for me, which is kind of a shock, <laughs> that this end game is actually pleasant for black. But obviously I didn't wanna go in for any of that, so I decided to take here, and the question is how do I get my queen over there and get some sort of an attack? Now I played queen to g5, so that I'm getting ready to come in here, and, and uh, I mean it's very tough for white already, Decides to go with this move, bishop to h3. You have to go back to g1, and now what? Um, and here's where I played bishop to g4, which is good. I rejected here just on the basic notion that maybe this would be possible, but there is g5 in this situation. So if you wanna give up a bishop in order to make my queen move, then great. g5 is the move that I didn't see, and uh, bishop takes g5 is actually the top choice. So this is insanely winning. We're just planning on moving this bishop, uh, maybe moving it here, maybe moving it somewhere else, and then just swinging this queen in. It's just an absolutely deadly attack if they give away their light squared bishop. But uh, I didn't do that, so I'm actually allowing this king to run away. And I think I got a little bit lost around here. D takes E5, given as best, probably with the idea that this is the next move and you know white shouldn't be able to recapture. But I brought my rook in first. Uh, the queen decides to come over here, threatening to take this. Queen in right away is very strong, but I didn't play it. After the king goes here, just queen g2. Ignoring that white can take this, which is what I would assume would, oh, just kidding. Defending the pawn from so far away that my opponent would have inevitably blundered the queen. It, it, it could have, I mean, it looks like you're just, you're just doing stuff, <laughs> but okay. Uh, obviously that was very strong. The way I played was fine. After here, I thought I could just take this and I'm lined up with this bishop. Turns out I should still be going for this idea and the next move is queen to g2, bringing this in immediately. But this felt very good, attacking this guy. Um, but the reason it's wrong is that I accidentally missed this and now I somehow need to sacrifice my queen, whether I take the bishop or whether I take the rook first. Uh, a little bit of a slip, but it doesn't actually throw too, too much away. I couldn't make rook takes d2 work in the game, so I moved my rook really far away. I'm kind of throwing now. I'm, I'm sort of throwing this really interesting game away. But uh, apparently this is possible. And I just wanna see if there's anything like truly amazing and beautiful. Um, are we, what are we setting up here? We're attacking this knight, but instead of taking this right away, we can go here. I mean, it's, I don't, it feels like there's something here. We're really close to having some sort of mating net, but uh, in a blitz game, such things are quite difficult to spot. So I moved my rook really far away. The queen came back and now sacking on d2 works immediately. I set it up with this, but if I go here immediately, the queen takes back then knight f5, 
And I guess it's still so strong that there's nothing the opponent can do. But the way I did it, I went here first. And now after any random move, I was planning on taking this. And the idea is that they take, we play here. They have to give up their queen because the king only has two legal moves. If here, I was going to play knight f1, which leads to a checkmate, but also obviously we're just winning the queen. And if they went here, uh, I have a mate in one. I also knew just in the back of my mind I could at minimum win the queen, but uh, this was my, he should have played one more move to see if I would have missed the mate in one. So he could have been like in the comments, ah, dude can't even find mate in one. But if you want to learn how to find mate in ones, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you for the next video.